Morning world and welcome to a glorious now Sunday the 16th of June. I say glorious now because last night we had 15 millimeters of rain, including two really, really, really heavy storms. One at three o'clock and one about four o'clock. And both storms woke me up because they were belting down on our roof. And all I could think about lying there in my bed was flat grass and mucky gateways. Anyway, like I said, uh, June 16th, AKA Father's Day. So it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm on my way over to see my dad to give him his, if I can get hold of it, because I've chucked it up there, give him his Father's Day card, which I'll happily admit my wife bought for me, because she's good like that. And while we're over there, if I get a chance, maybe we'll go and look at some grass over there. I'm kind of nervous about looking at it. I've walked around the stuff down here, about 15% of our grass down there is at 45 degrees. That's not beyond the point of no return, but it's close. Very close. Have I left haymaking too late for this year? Maybe I should have tried making me hay a bit earlier. Maybe. Have I made a complete cock up of this? Have I messed it up? Have I missed my chance? I don't know. The problem is, like I've mentioned in videos before, oh, did you miss that? Um, if grass goes down and it can't spring back, goes past the point of no return, doesn't spring back up, it ends up going rotten in the bottom. And there's no way I can make hay this week. Just don't have the time. So it's got to wait another well, at least 10 days, really, before I can cut it. This time next week, I'll be in Edinburgh. Right, so visit with Dad is complete. He's all right, apart from the fact that he fell down again yesterday, top of the stairs, so I think my brother struggled to pick him up yesterday. Um, but he's okay, he's okay. Uh, so I've had a cup of coffee with him. A couple of his mates have called in to say hello. Uh, I've now left because it's nearly lunchtime, but before I go home, we're going to go and look at some grass down at Tother Farm and maybe a, a little wander across the wheat as well just to see make sure it's all still standing upwards and not lying flat. Hmm. Well, that looks okay out there. I'm kind of hoping everything is still stood up. That looks reasonably hopeful. Hmm, should have bought the drone. There's a little bit of a flat spot there. But yeah, predominantly it still stood up. There's a fair drop of grass out there too. Some of this is lead down it here, but I'm kind of not surprised all our neighbours walk their dogs out here. So, big dogs, little dogs, medium-sized dogs, they run through this. So, we're gonna get flat spots. And unless I sit here all day and tell them not to, nothing I can do about it. That looks a bit better out there. I think we're going to have many, 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 many trips backwards or forwards home to here with bales. Hopefully, fingers crossed, good bales. Right, let's have a quick look up through here. Just out of interest, we'll have a look, see if the bees are busy. Come on. It's 
a bit short right here because my brother had his sheep out here for a bit. This is possibly worthwhile coming on top of this or do I leave it? Because hopefully, not many weeks, we'll have a few cattle out here. It's just these chaps I want to knock off. The thistles. Bees. Are you still in there? Uh, can't see any activity. Nothing. Awful lot of staining coming out of there, which could be from honeycomb, but yeah, no sign of any bees. I mean, it is Sunday, perhaps having a lion. Hmm. I don't think they're in there. Mind you, I've thought that before and got it wrong. But yeah, nothing's coming in and out. All right, let's have a look at the last piece of grass over this side. This is usually our best bit. We usually get a lot of bales out of here. Hmm, bit of chickweed in there. Okay, yeah, loads of grass. When they making starts, this is going to be full on. Come on. So I think the plan's going to be, provided we pass TB, is to cut the grass over here, um, knock it all off, apart from this bit, the bit by the ox house. Um, let it start coming back and regenerate, and then we'll put the cattle over here. Not all of them. We'll separate up. Maybe we'll put our breeding cows over here with a bull. That's an option. Or maybe we'll leave them at home with a bull and bring everything else over here. The stuff that we don't want going to the bull. Another option. We'll just see what the weather and the seasons do. What our options are. Go on then. This is what the power company is after. We keep getting letters from battery storage and solar folks going, oh, we've checked on the plans and we checked blah, 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 and your land is eligible for this, that, and everything else. And uh, we'd like to talk to you and we, we want to put this and we want to do that and we'll pay you this and we'll pay you that. I'm kind of not too keen. And my dad, up until now, has never been terribly keen, but I think, one or two of his mates and other friends have done it. For some, it's worked well for them. Others, not so much. So, basically, I've had the instruction now is to contact one of these companies and say, we'll talk to you. Um, I'm not interested in solar, but maybe if there's a little patch of ground somewhere they want to put a battery back up, maybe. Maybe. I'm still not keen. I like it like this. See? That's a picture postcard, isn't it? Look at all that lovely, lovely grass. Ignore the stinging nettles and the cow parsley and that dock. Just, just the grass. Pleased to stay, it's all still standing. As for the wheat, well, that's not looking too bad either. All out in the air now. Well, apart from these little bits of edge, but yeah. That's the important bit, that fella. There's a little bit of a little bit of colour on that. A little bit of colour on that too. but mainly green. 
Like I said, I'm sure there's places in the country who would be very happy to see that. Maybe, maybe we've got away with it, but I'm not gonna keep my chickens. Plenty of time for it all to go wrong yet. This is what we don't want. That's your flag leaf, we don't want that. That is not good. I can't see any flat spots, which is a relief. Another stunted flag leaf, but I will say, Everything that I've seen that's stunted is kind of on the peripheries, on the edge. So probably never got any fungicide on that. Out there, the colour seems to be better. Can you see that little slightly yellow triangle in the middle there? That's where Reg has missed a bit with the sprayer. So, so this has been treated with fungicide and that bit somehow got missed. Big difference those chemicals. So unfortunately, as in unfortunately we need them. But yeah, that looks good out there, apart from that bit. So new rules and regulations now with field margins. I mean, there's a footpath here. This isn't actually the footpath, but we've left this for a footpath for folks to walk in the edge of the field because we'd rather that than them walking all around the middle of it. But uh, new rules and regulations now, you have to leave a two meter strip. They say from the middle of the hedge, so uncultivated. Not quite sure how that works on that because that's like a 10 foot hedge. So, uh, one meter, two, two, not gonna make a big difference to that, but yeah. And, the, and that two meter margin, which is a legal requirement now, which as far as I'm aware, you could be fined for not doing it. And with, how they're gonna do that? I presume for either satellite imagery or something. Uh, yeah, that doesn't include our six meter. If we go with um, field margins, uh, six meters, which we're not doing on this one. This one actually we're looking at putting into um, wild bird mix, although looking at this year, why would you want to convert this into wild bird mix if you've got a crop like that? 853 pound a hectare is the potential, or, well, what you get for it. And what's that here? Two hectares? So 1,600 quid. But if I could sell wheat off this, Three and a half ton to the acre. Uh, I'd like to say two, 200 pound a ton. I'd like to say that. You crunch the numbers, I'm better off keeping it in this. Just. Not quite gladiator style, but you know, close enough. Okay, and then in front of us are two new grass lays, which look good from here. Plenty of seed head, but they look a lot better than they did three years ago when all that was absolutely full of tired old grass and docks, which is the reason we put that into wheat for a year, cultivated it. We wanted to get rid of the docks. So, and that seems to have been successful. <sighs> Loads of bales. Rabbits. Rabbits! Where's the rabbits? Where's the rabbits? Where's the rabbits? Rabbits! 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 Go in and rabbits! <laughs> that makes her happy. Two deer though, can you see them? A couple of roe deer going across, I'm not sure if the GoPro's going to pick them up. That's a couple of youngsters by the looks of it. Oh, straight over the hedge into the road. And you? No. Under the fence. 
okay. Always got road down here. I don't know what it is about this corner down here. They just seem to like it down here. Uh, good place for a high seat up there. Where is it? Where's the rabbits? Where's the rabbits? Rabbits! Rabbits! So this grass mix out here is a four-year lay. This is exactly the same as I've got up in Pigeon Mead. It's looking... This has had no fertiliser, so it's not that green. And it's a bit late, really, to put any fertiliser on here. But, um, yeah, the, the grass in... Pigeon Mead has some 2010-10 on, and it is a bit greener than this. But even so, that's a hell of a crop of grass. So, and even the bald patches seem to have filled in. Yeah. Oh, there's a bald spot over there that hasn't, but yeah. So, I'm not kneeling down this time. This is where we see those are. Up to be breast pocket. Don't flatten me grass down. Come on. Go on. Right, I'm going over some lunch. So, we'll see you in a bit. Excuse me, we're going this way. This way, come on. That'll give you a good workout coming through here. Wouldn't it? Go on then. Go on, go on, rabbits, rabbits. I'd say looking at the state of the grass out here, you're not gonna find many rabbits in this because they just cannot work their way through it. <laughs> rabbits. She's in there somewhere. Pollen. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Right. You can see better from up here anyway. Can't you? Right, I've run out of time. I was going to go and look at some more, but dinner will be on the table in 15 minutes. And I don't really want a cold lunch, so we're going home. I think she's had enough running through long grass as well. We'll do another little drive by of the showground. Stop in the gateway, have a quick look. I already know it's pretty good out there, so this always produces a load of grass out here. Yep. A few more docks than that though. No plans to play that though. Right, home. <laughs>